Hola! Today we have a special video for special occasions. We're going to arrange a nice cheese platter, really tasty, really colorful, and it's going to have, of course, a Spanish touch by adding a few stuffed dates or dátiles rellenos and some membrillo or quince paste. So, let's get started. First of all, which cheese to choose? Well, basically, whichever type you like. I would advise having a variety of mild cheese and more mature, stronger one. But whichever rocks your boat goes well. I chose some manchego, as you can see in these wedges. This is a traditional Spanish one. You should cut your cheese in different shapes to make it a bit more interesting. Now we have some crackers in different shapes. This one's I got from Spain actually, and it's got some raisins in it. Really good for cheese and other combinations. Here is the meat, anything goes. You have some pickles as well, olives, nuts, grapes as well, and some dried fruits. And of course, the queen's paste or dulce de membrillo, which we have the recipe here in the channel. If you want to make it at home, please click in the link in the description. And now we're going to prepare our stuffed dates. You'll see it's really easy and really tasty and go really nicely in this cheese platter. So first of all, we're gonna open it. And we're gonna remove the seed. We're gonna get some soft cream cheese, Philadelphia style, goes nicely. And there it goes, or not. So that's it. This is our stuffed date, or dátiles rellenos. Next, we're going to arrange starting with the cheese. Now, you should make it like a clock, basically. You can start with the strongest one and then gradually move on towards the milder. After placing the cheese, it's time to fill the gaps. Now, it's advisable that you put something that goes well with the cheese, or just for the sake of aesthetics, you can do like I did here and made it a bit colorful. For the cold meat, you can fold it like this in four, so it blends in nicely. And then for any small gaps we have left, we're gonna put the crackers. Now you can see our cheese platter is ready and it looks fantastic and it will be even nicer with some white wine. So we're pouring ourselves a couple of glasses and a few extra crackers here to go with the cheese. And voila, our cheese platter is now looking gorgeous and ready to be eaten. So now we say cheers or salud, as we say in Spanish. Buen provecho. Enjoy. Adios.